This video shows how to use the label program within Spire for printing inventory labels from purchase order or from the inventory list. So on the purchase order side, we, we choose a purchase order, go into it, this one is received, and if I hit the labels button, it brings over the quantity that we've received onto this grid here that shows each of the items. Uh, if it was an unissued purchase order, it would bring over the order quantity. Or if it was not received, it was if it was issued, issued or unissued, it brings up the order quantity. And if it's received purchase order, it brings up the received quantity. Uh, these quantities can be changed from here. So if I only want two of these labels and only you know, four of these and three of these and one of these, I can do that. I can also set the whole thing to quantity one, so it changes all to one, so if I want a single label for each one, or I can actually choose on hand quantity, so how many, uh, I print a label for each item that's in stock, so I have 115 of this first item in stock, and so on. Okay, and we can also, it also tells us how many labels it's going to print, and I can also set the number of blank labels. So if I'm using sheet labels, and I've used up the first four labels, I'd have a four here, and it'll print four blanks to start with. Let's go back out and just hit the print again. So we get our quantities we want. Let's just reduce this a little bit here. And we'll go with uh, one of those and three of those and four of those. Okay, so that's good to start. And we'll take, say, three blanks. And then we hit the, the uh, print button. And I've got two different labels set up here. I'll just pr preview both of those. So the first one it printed off, you'll see that this first item's on there a few times to start with up to uh, there and it clings, goes on to the next item and the next and next. So this is just a, a barcode label and then we've got another label format that has no barcode just for a price label or something like that. So these can be edited and changed. They can also of course be edited uh, with crystal reports to print onto uh, rolls of labels as well. Okay, uh, just briefly on the inventory list if we want to print a few labels, I can just highlight the ones I want to print. So I want to print uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I just highlight them, and I hit my Labels button, and then the same dialog comes up. In this case, it defaults to the on-hand quantity, uh, but again, I can change this to one of each if I wish, and then hit the Print button, and the same thing happens here now. I get those four labels that I highlighted with a barcode and without a barcode.